and welcome back to the channel this is going to be a windy ride because we have a pretty good wind going and on this video I want to talk about a bike that's out there that I think is uh, worthy of uh, talking about here on the channel so I'm going to do that and it is available now for purchase in stock it is the all road emma 2.0 i should say roll road not all road roll road that's the name of the company and the bike model is emma 2.0 it is a moped style e-bike with 20 by 4 inch fat tires So, let's go over some of the uh, particulars on the bike. So, it is a 1000 watt Bafang rear hub motor geared, and that motor peaks at 40, uh, 1800 watts, and it is a 48 volt motor. The battery is a 48 volt 20 amp hour and I'm not sure what they're doing but guess they're going in there Let me get past the stop sign and we'll continue on with more of the specs on the bike. So letting me go. Uh, I do want to mention the bike does have a cruise control which is kind of neat. You don't always see that on an e-bike. The controller is a 48 volt 28 amp which is not the worst in the world because some bikes have as low as a 20 amp controller or 22 so 28 is not that bad I mean 30 would be probably or a little more uh, would be good uh, but so they claim the top speed is 30 plus miles per hour so if you can if your bike can get up above 30 miles an hour that's pretty darn good and uh it does come in two colors it comes in white and black i'd probably be fine with either color but uh, probably because if I had the bike, I'd probably pick the, the black just because I have the, the white one I'm riding right now, the little graffiti. Uh, something I don't like about this bike so much is the seat height. 34.8 inches and yet they claim that a rider as small as 5 foot 3 up to 6 foot 6 can ride that bike. Well, at 34.8 inches, I don't know. Somebody's five foot three is going to have a. I mean, you're going to be able to get on the bike because it is a moped style, so you don't have the problem here. It's like a step through uh, on this bike, and so you can kind of straddle it. But I. I think the seat would be nicer if it was more down to about 31 inches or 32. But here I am speaking as a, a rider that's five foot nine. So, but I think they should cater a little bit more to the shorter riders because too many of these bikes are too darn high. 
So let's get back to a few more of the specs on the bike. So it does have uh, five pedal assist levels. And it is a uh, torque sensor. I did want to mention that. So that's a little bit different. And it does come with a three amp charger. And the bike also has a USB port, which not every bike has. The seat or saddle is 24 inches long, which will carry two riders. That's pretty nice. Uh, it does have full suspension and it does have a four piston uh, hydraulic brakes. I don't know the weight of the bike. I didn't see that or I missed it. I will leave a link in the description. You can check out the full specs uh, on the site. Uh, but they do have a weight capacity uh, of 450 pounds, which is about as high as I've heard yet on an e-bike. The most I've heard previous is 400 pounds. So 450, that's, that's uh, some serious weight right there. Um, something I like a lot on the bike would be the, uh, it has a 5.3 inch, uh, color display. I personally, I don't know how other, uh, folks are, but I really like a big display. Uh, so that's personal preference that I like but I don't know everybody might be different on that I like the color display and I like it being big like that 5.3 inches is nice forty eight volt twenty eight or twenty amp hour battery um, that's kind of starting to become a more of a standard size now a uh, twenty amp uh, battery I think uh, I'd like to see it get up to where they had a battery of uh, like average size being more like 30 amp hour. And they're saying the uh, range is 70 miles, but I'm sure that would be in pedal assist one under really good conditions because that's a lot of miles on it for a 20 amp hour battery. It does have a half twist throttle. Uh, I don't think I mentioned that. The tires are Kenda 20 by 4 inch. I did mention 20 by 4, but I don't think I said that they were Kenda tires. It does have a uh, 48 teeth crank set uh, with double guard and I'm trying to think it is of a fang motor if I didn't mention that already and I think that's pretty much all the specs now the price the bike is listed at uh, regular price $22.99 but it's on sale right now for $18.99 and it says to calculate shipping at checkout. So I put my address in there to see how much they would charge the ship and it said free. So you might want to throw your address in there and uh, it may uh, be free, the shipping for, for you as well. But you can check that before you actually click to purchase the bike. The other thing I did see on there was that they do have a, a um, discount code, FALL, capital F-A-L-L. -L and that when i put that in there that took it down 50 dollars more so that put it down to 849 or 1849 i should say not 849 if it was 849 they would probably saw a whole heck of a lot of them but 1849 you know i don't think it's that bad of a price i mean don't know if i would purchase it for 1849 but i think it's a fair price Considering it's a it's a 48 volt, but it is a thousand watt motor peaking at 1800 watts And I think the moped style bikes 
sometimes I think that they cost a little bit more. I don't know if that's true or not, or if it just, it seems to me like it caught, they, they uh, cost more. But anyway, I think it's, I think it's kind of fair though. I mean, it, it's not super cheap, but it's not ro highway robbery either. So it's, it's kind of, kind of in the middle, I guess. It's not the cheapest bike in the world, but it's not the most expensive either. So I guess it's up to whether you like the look of it and, and the specs uh, satisfy you. I like, I actually like the look of this bike quite a bit uh, myself. But. So anyway, that's the Roll Road Emma 2.0. And if you want to comment on that uh, bike uh, in this video or any other uh, uh, comment for any other video you've seen on the channel, just go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.